Carrie, let's continue and talk about niching your blog and positioning yourself as the expert. Um, one of the things that a lot of bloggers starting out fail to do is perfect the concept of niching. And what I mean by that is picking a core topic and then combining it with a couple other elements that are related to that core topic that they might be interested in. This allows you to have a little bit more variety and flexibility in what you can talk about and what you can offer either via service or product. Sometimes bloggers over niche and get way too specific about their blog topic, which can hurt them down the road. I know this from experience because I used to have a goat blog and it failed miserably because all I talked about were health benefits derived from goat derived products like goat milk. Um, so I was really intensely focused on one core specific topic and I didn't really have like an engaged audience, although they found my material helpful. Um, that was the only thing that I could really talk about because that's all I offered. I niched too far. but. In this new venture that I have with the six other blogs that I run, um, I've allowed myself to have a core topic and two other supplementary topics that I like to focus on for each one. So it makes talking about other things related to your core topic harder when you over niche. And when expanding on your topic becomes hard, you end up limiting yourself with product development and service. So everybody pretty much knows, I, I talk about Pinterest a lot. So you're going to find a lot of like Pinterest oriented stuff on my blog. That's what I talk about. And so that's why people come to my blog to read more about Pinterest. But I also talk about copywriting because that's also an important topic because you have to write great quality content, right? And then also email marketing because the whole point of Pinterest is to help people discover you and get them to come over and sign up for your email list so that you can market to them via a sales funnel, right? So that's why I recommend focusing on one core topic, kind of like I do, and then two complementary topics that support or add to your core. Knowing your niche is the next thing. You may not be an expert starting out, but as you continue to blog and share your thoughts and experiences, as well as your documented findings, you'll be growing as an expert. So it's gonna be okay. So you might not have expert status starting out and that's all right. Um, it's gonna take some time. And that's, it's a journey. And it's the journey and the growth that the readers are more interested in rather than your end result. They like to know the path to better understand the expectations of what the results require, okay? You certainly won't become an expert overnight. I certainly didn't. It took me three months of my own research and time to really master Pinterest. Um, but after a year, you might be a millionaire and know 99% of everything about your core topic. Who knows? It really depends on how much time you're willing to invest. Your audience is going to want to know the steps that you took in the reasonable time frame that passed to get to where you are today or where you, you plan to be in the future. And using your blog as a communication tool to get an audience reading you, reading your work, is just the first step. But you have to stick to those topics and not confuse them with unrelated things, even though there might be money to be made, such as affiliate income. I know a lot of bloggers out there who, um, want to do like lifestyle blogs, but then they end up getting a shiny object syndrome and start chasing things that aren't really related to lifestyle and start trying to plummet their blog with a lot of um, affiliate oriented um, materials so that they can make money. And that's not really the answer to long-term hardcore blogging. So. Um, let's move on to the next video where we'll talk about um, what might be keeping big bloggers from sharing your work in your pins, just so you kind of know what the expectation is on Pinterest so that we can get you started. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then pop 
on over to carrylegend.com where you can sign up to receive my clever, informative, and sometimes funny emails. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.